All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome to F45. We are coming to you live from Chandler South, representing Tempe South and soon to be Santan Village. Today, we have an awesome strength-based workout for you. So what you're gonna need is something that weighs about eight pounds, and we're gonna also use a ball. So a basketball, volleyball, soccer ball, any of those will work. We are doing a Panthers-inspired workout. That means 35 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, three sets per station before we move on to the next exercise. We have a total of 14 movements today. Coach Chris is gonna go ahead and start the demo. So exercise number one is going to be a squat with a forward press. Sit nice and deep into that squat, pressing at the bottom, standing up to the top. Modification, you can always grab that ball if you need a lighter weight. Number two, we have an alternating roll out push up. That ball is gonna be on one hand, you're gonna roll it to the other side. Modification here, you can always drop it down to your knee, bringing your chest all the way to the ground. Exercise number three is an alternating reverse lunge with an overhead press with the weight. Stepping back, pressing at the top, bringing it back, down, reversing that lunge. Same thing, you can always grab that ball if that weight becomes too heavy. We are on to number four, which is a static glute press off the ball. So you'll see Chris is gonna shoot all of his weights into his shoulder blades, driving those hips to the ceiling. Both feet are gonna be on top of that ball. All right, moving on to a Russian twist. You're gonna grab a weight and you're gonna go side to side. Feet can either be on the ground to modify or you can bring them up just a couple inches to make it a little bit more difficult. Next up, number six, we have a sprawl with the ball. So you're gonna drive it in all the way back. We're doing a little bicep curl at the top of this movement. Hands and feet come up around the same time, making this a good cardio movement right here in the middle. So we're moving on to number seven, or number, yep, number seven is a squat with an alternating row. So sitting down in those heels, rowing at the top, switching arms each time. Good, nice high pull, elbow is driving towards the ceiling on this one. All right, number eight, alternating single leg toe reach with the ball. So you're gonna drive it overhead, reach for that shoe, and again, you are alternating every time you roll up to the top, bringing those arms nice and long behind, activating those lats just a little bit. Number eight, tricep extension. Number nine, actually, you're gonna stand up to the top. Weight's gonna disappear behind your head. Elbows are facing forward, extending at the top, activating those triceps, standing up nice and tall. Okay, guys, number 10, we've got surrenders with the ball. So you're gonna have that ball up over your head. You're coming down, down and up, up. So extend that ball over your head the entire time. Good, keeping those shoulders activated. Again, engaging your core, coming all the way up to the top. Number 11 is a forward lunge with a core rotation using the weight. So you're gonna come down, you're rotating over that forward leg, lunging, rotating, activating those obliques. Perfect. All right, we are on to number 12. We have a low squat with an inner squeeze. You're gonna take that ball between your knees. You're staying nice and low. We're just gonna squeeze that ball, activating those inner thighs. You can come up and down in that squat or you can hold a static squat position and squeeze each time. Okay, we are almost there. Number 13, we've got a plank pull through with the weight. You're gonna come into that plank position. You're going to pull that weight through to the other side and switch alternating sides. Hips are always gonna stay square to the front. Shoulders and chest down and activating that core. Finally, number 14 is gonna be an alternating Superman with body weight. So you're gonna be laying on your belly, arms are extended, you alternate left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot, up and down, just like so. All right, we've got Coach Michelle and Lee back here. We are gonna bring you through that warm up. Everyone stand up, grab your water, grab whatever you need, and we're gonna get you guys moving today. All right, high knees with butt kickers, let's go. Good, let's do four and four, four high knees, four butt kickers right here. Good job, guys. Hip mobility swings, let's make that a nice wide scan. Open those hips up. Good, Chris like these. <laughs> All right, we've got a deep squat with the rotation on each side. Take it nice and low and open up that lumbar spine as we rotate. Good, just a couple more. 
Excellent job, guys. We are going on the ground, side to side. We're stretching out that groin and inner thigh. Good. Try to get those hands on the ground. Neutral spine, eyes are focused on the ground. Good. All right. Go ahead and do 10 mountain climbers with three push ups. Good. Chest all the way to the ground. We're going to get that heart rate spiked up right here during this warm up. Drive those knees in, in, in for 10. Three push ups at the bottom. All right. Bring it onto your back. Lumbar stretch. Good. We're going to rotate side to side with that leg. Nice stretch here. Everyone likes this one. Feels so good on that lower spine. Good. Hip thrusters. Weight is in your heels. Drive it to the top. Squeeze those glutes at the top of that movement. Good. Weight is shooting into those shoulder blades. All right. Bring those knees into your chest. Let's roll up into that straddle stretch. Reach for the center. Reach all the way through. Good. All the way up onto those shoulder blades and back to the center. Bring it back to those feet. We're coming in and out. Fast feet right here. Come on. In, in, out, out. Let's go as quick as you can. We're up on those toes. Bring it in. Bring it out. All right, guys. Just a few more here. And we are going to finish it up with some squat jumps. 20 seconds. Let's go all the way down. Holy cow. <laughs> feel like I could run right underneath Chris's legs right here. Squat. Push through those toes. Let's go, Lee. Good job. We've got just a few more seconds of these. Last one. All right, guys. Go ahead and grab those weights. We are starting with a squat to a forward press. 35 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, three sets, only one lap around the room today. Grab those weights. Here we go. We are squatting and pressing right here. Good. So today, Coach Michelle is going to be our modification station. So you will see that she's using some laundry detergent. You guys can get creative with this workout. Anything around your house that weighs about 8 to 10 pounds will do. You can also use a backpack. You can fill that up with some weight. Anything will work. Good. So sitting in those heels, pressing out. All right, guys, keep it up. Just about one more. And breathe. Good job. All right. You can drop those weights. Shake it out just a little bit here. <laughs> so we are going to be doing that two more times right now. And then that's going to be the last time that you guys will see this movement today. We do three in a row, and that's going to be it. Let's pick those weights back up. And here we go. Squat it to the bottom. Press it out. Stand it back up. Good. All right. We're trying to burn those shoulders out. Obviously, you can go heavier than 8 to 10 pounds if you've got something at home that'll challenge you a little bit more. But Chris is using a 25-pound weight plate. Good. Notice we are sitting back in those heels to about a 90-degree angle on that squat all the way to the bottom. Good. Let's get one more in. And drop those weights. Rest here. 20 seconds of rest. Good. All right, catch your breath. We only do this one more time today, and then we move on to exercise two. Number 14 total movements today. Let's pick those weights back up. Get ready. Sit it down. Let's go. Good. When we're extending that weight out, shoulders come down and away from those ears. And again, our core is always engaged, getting nice and low in those squats. Good job, guys. Keep it up. More than halfway. Good. How low can you go in those squats? Come on, no breaks. We've got five seconds. Let's get two more in here. One more all the way to the bottom, all the way up, and drop it. All right, guys, pick up that ball. We are doing an alternating rollout push-up. So remember, one hand's on the ball, one hand's on the ground. We do a push-up. And then you're going to switch it to the other side. Again, Coach Michelle is going to show the modification, dropping it to her knees. Let's go, guys. 35 on the clock. Pushing it up, transferring it to the other hand. Good. So modification, we're on our knees. 
Our spine is nice and straight. We're coming all the way down, chest to the ground, pushing it back to the top. And again, to challenge yourselves, you guys can pick up that tempo just a little bit. We want our hips square to the floor. Good job, guys. You only have five seconds to go right here. Let's get a couple more reps in. And rest. 20 seconds to breathe. Good job. All right, shake those arms out. Again, if this is too challenging on the ball, you can also stay on those toes and just do alternating push-ups as well. So we've got a couple different modifications that we can play with today. But let's get in those planks. Here we go, let's work. Chest to the ground, transfer it over. Good. Again, we don't want too much rocking in those hips. We wanna keep them nice and square. Squeeze those glutes. Good work, guys. Good. Chest is all the way down to the floor. Come on, guys. Five seconds to go. Keep working to the finish. And rest. Nice work. All right. We only have to do those one more time today. Okay, this is exercise number two, round three. Shake it out, get ready to work. Let's get back into those planks. We've got 35 seconds of work right here. Let go. All the way down, all the way to the top. Good job, you guys focus on that tempo. Let's try to keep that same pace throughout the entire set of work. Good. Don't forget to breathe. You always exhale on the most difficult part of the exercise. So as we're doing that push-up, and then take that nice deep breath as you're rolling it to the other side. Final five seconds. And go ahead and set that ball aside. We're picking up those weights. We are now on an alternating reverse lunge with an overhead press. So you're stepping back and you're pressing that weight up over your head, alternating sides as we reverse. Get ready, pick that weight up. Two and one right here. So he's stepping back, press it at the bottom of that movement. So important to keep our core engaged as we bring that weight up over our head. And again, we don't want to be shrugging our shoulders as we press. You want to keep them down. Pull those shoulder blades down and back as we press. Good. Great form here. And you can see Coach Michelle back here is showing a modification. It makes it a little bit more controlled if you press at the top of the movement. One more, guys. And rest. 20 seconds to shake it out again. Good job, keep it up. All right, again, if those shoulders are starting to burn out, keep moving, just slow that pace just a little bit, but we wanna move the entire 35 seconds. Here we go. Good, up to the top. Got some great form here, great demos. Good. We want that knee just about an inch above the ground. Don't rest it on the ground because we want to keep keeping it activated the entire time that we're doing this movement. Good. Ten seconds to go. Press it over that head. Step it to the top. Slow and controlled. Last one. Put it down and breathe. Good. All right, guys. We're doing that one more time. You've got 35 seconds of work. Great job. <laughs> Air fives. All right, guys. One more time on those alternating reverse lunges. Let's get those weights kicked up. We work the entire 35 seconds. Here we go. Step it back. Good. Again, nice tight core here. Those knees are bent to about 90 degrees on the front and the back side. You got it. Exhale as you press overhead. Inhale as you stand it to the top. Good. Just about 10 seconds to go. And then on this next movement, we're going to be working those glutes. All right, let's get two more reps right here. There's time. 
And go ahead and drop it. You guys are going to grab that ball. You're going to lay on the floor. Both feet are on top of the ball. We are doing a glute press off the ball. Over here, Coach Michelle is going to show a modification. She's not going to be using the ball. She's going to just do a glute press, but putting a weight on her belly right here or over her hips. Here we go. Good. So if you guys need more stability, if you're rolling all over that ball, bring those arms to a T position, and that's going to help you stabilize just a little bit more. Good. So you'll notice you're squeezing at the top. As you press, all your weight shoots into those shoulder blades at the top of this bridge. Good. Just a few more reps right here. Squeeze those glutes, two and one, rest. Good job. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right, we have two more sets. Again, if you want to grab that weight and lay it across your lap to give you a little bit more resistance to challenge yourselves a little bit, you can do that right here. Get ready, here we go. Good. So adding a little bit of that extra weight is going to help activate those glutes even more, making it a little bit more challenging. Good. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Pause for one to two seconds at the top of this movement. Good job. You got it, guys. We have 10 seconds to go. Again, watch that tempo. We want to work the whole time. Let's get three more in right here. That's two. Last one. And rest. Good job. One more time, guys. That's it. How are we doing back here, guys? <laughs> no hydration breaks today. <laughs> We are working the whole 45 minutes. Let's go. Good. Drive it up. Squeeze those glutes. Good. Even more challenging. You can pull your toes up off that ball just a little bit. More weight in those heels is going to activate even more. Good. Keep those head and shoulders pressed into the floor. Good job, guys. We only have about eight seconds to go. Keep driving up. After this, we're going to be doing those Russian twists. Go ahead and rest. You can stay on the ground. Go ahead and get rid of that ball. Pick up that weight. We're doing a Russian twist with the weight, side to side. If you do need to grab a drink, obviously, anytime you need it, go ahead and grab that. Unless you're Lee. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we're going side to side. So you'll see Coach Chris here has his feet elevated just a few inches above the ground. That's going to make it more challenging. Coach Michelle back here has both feet planted on the floor. She's sitting a little bit more upright. That's going to modify that movement just a little bit. Good. Side to side. The heavier the weight, obviously, the more challenging. You're going to get a little activation in those biceps, too. Couple more seconds, keep working. Three, two, and put it down and rest. Good job. Good, so one is done, two more sets of those. If you need to stretch those abs out in between, you can always lay back and stretch, reaching for that back wall. But let's pick those weights back up. Get ready to work, here we go. Side to side. Good. The further you lean away from those toes, the more difficult this movement becomes. Good. Breathe here. Good. Inhale, center. Exhale as you twist and rotate. 15 seconds. Go. Good. Go to the beat of the music. All right. Final five seconds. Two and one. Go ahead and drop those weights. Good. All right. We are doing this one more time. And then we are moving on to the sixth exercise of the day already. We are cruising. <laughs> All right, pick those weights back up. Get ready to work. 35 seconds, let's go. Tap, tap, good. Stay consistent with that tempo. Good. 
Breathe. Can you lower those legs a little bit more towards the ground? Challenge yourself a little bit more on these final 15 seconds right here. Let's go. Good. Breathe. 10 to go. Good job, guys. After this, we are going to get those balls back, and we're doing sprawls. So we have a little cardio burst in two and one. Go ahead and put the weight or the ball to the side. You're going to grab that ball. We're doing a sprawl right here. So hands are going to be on top of the ball. We have a mini bicep curl in between. So starting in a plank position, hands on top of the ball. Get ready. Here we go. So feet come in. We do a mini bicep curl, placing the ball back on the ground. You can add a push-up if you want. That's going to make it a little bit more challenging. And a modification, Coach Michelle is stepping it back, stepping it in, staying low in that squat. Good. And again, if you guys are having a hard time balancing on that ball, you can always do this movement off the ground as well. Good. Just a few more seconds right here. Sitting nice and low as we come up. Two and one. Rest. Good. All right. On round two, let's try to pick that pace up just a little bit. But obviously watching that form, making sure our shoulders are stacked over our wrist when we're on top of that ball. Get ready to work. We've got two seconds. Here we go. Out. In. Curl. Good. There we go. Can you keep up with Coach Chris? Challenge yourselves. Let's go. Good. Lee and Chris in a race to the finish. We got 15 seconds right here. Good. Nice job. Michelle is nice and controlled on these movements. Equally as challenging back here, guys. One more. And rest. Good. All right. We only have one more of these. Those heart rates should be elevated after that movement, guys. All right. Are you sweating? <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's get back into that plank position. Feet are back. Here we go. Let's work. It's down out. Curl it. Bring it back out. Good. Chest is tall as we do that mini bicep curl. Good. <laughs> Weights in your heels. <laughs> Good. Excellent job, guys. Just a few more. Come on. Final 10 seconds. Let's get them in. Out. In. Curl. And back. Good. Five seconds. We have time for one more full rep. And after this, we are picking those weights up. Good. Put the ball to the side. We have alternating high pulls with the weight. So on this one, we squat down. You're going to pull with one side. On the bottom, you're going to alternate and keep those elbows high to the sky. Get ready. Here we go. Squat and pull. Switch each time you come up. Good. So again, we have three different variations on how we can do this movement. We have got that laundry detergent or the backpack. Just make sure your palm is facing towards the back of the room as we row. Elbows nice and high. Working those legs as we squat to the bottom. Excellent job, guys. We've got five seconds. Let's get at least one more on each side. And rest. Good. All right. Catch your breath. Take a couple nice deep breaths here before we go back into that exercise. Okay, yes, this is true. Lee wants everyone to know that he's lifting heavier than Chris right here. <laughs> All right, here we go. But, oh, not anymore. <laughs> Let's watch the tempo right here, guys. <laughs> Michelle is light, but she is right. <laughs> you want to be controlled in these movements. If you can go at this pace, go for it. But if you're at home, stay safe. <laughs> Watch Michelle for the safest version today. <laughs> Five seconds, guys. Almost there. We've got three, two, and one. Good job. Go ahead and drop it. 
All right. Catch it for, uh-oh. Of course, he's going to go grab a heavier plate just because he has to win. <laughs> so he's got a 44-pound plate right here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Last set. Let's go to the bottom. Roll it to the top. There we go. Good. It's not a competition, you guys. <laughs> Good. Roll it to the top. Keep that elbow high. These are high pulls. We want to see some deep squats. Good. Michelle's still burning over here. Good. Final five seconds right here. Let's get a few more reps in. And then we are coming back to the ground with the ball. Nice job, guys. Go ahead and lay down on the floor. We have alternating single leg toe reaches with the ball. So you're going to tap the shoelace and extend nice and long. Coach Chris is going to use the plate. You can use your weight at home if you'd like to do that as well. Here we go. So nice and long reach and reaching for your shoelaces as we come up to the top of this movement. Exhale to the top. Inhale as we lay and lengthen out that core. Good. This is exercise eight. We are more than halfway through this workout, you guys. Keep it up. Good. Nice long reach all the way up to the top. Couple more seconds here. Let's get two more in. Last one right here. And breathe. Good. All right. Again, stretch that core out if you need to. Reach for the back wall. Keep it up. Let's grab that weight or that ball. Bring it onto your back again. Long reach. Here we go. All the way up to those shoelaces. The further you sit up, the more difficult this movement becomes. If you make it a little shallower, it's going to be a little bit easier. This is even challenging without any weight at all. So if you need to put that ball down, you can just use those hands and do alternating toe reaches with your hands. You got it. 10 seconds, guys. Keep working. These coaches are with you, sweating all the way. They're challenging themselves right down here. And rest, good. All right, one more set. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got one more set here. After this, we're gonna be working those triceps. So go ahead and grab that ball or weight, lay back. Let's bring it over our head, give a quick stretch to those core muscles, and let's go. Reach up, lay it back, good. Exhale, inhale. Very good. Good. All right, guys. Final 15 seconds of this movement here. Reach. And exhale. Good. These guys are sweating down here. I don't know about you guys at home. <laughs> all right. Last one right here all the way up to the top. Nice work, guys. Stand it up. Grab those weights. We have tricep extensions coming here right now. Grab a drink if you need it real quick, but you've got about eight seconds to get back in place. All right, guys, pick those weights up. Standing in an athletic stance, feet shoulder width apart. That weight is going to disappear behind your head. You're going to extend it all the way to the top. The hills are with us. Say hi, everybody. Welcome to class. Happy to have you guys all here today. Good. Again, making sure that our core is engaged as we bring that weight up over our head. Good. We've got five seconds. Let's get two more reps in. This will be your last one. Then you can drop that weight, rest, and recover. Good. Shake those arms out a little bit. If you have a lighter weight and you want to add a pulse here, you can always come halfway all the way down and then extend it all the way up to the top. That can challenge you a little bit if you have a lighter weight. All right, guys, pick it back up. Stand tall. And here we go. Let's work. Good. And again, important, keep those shoulders pulled down and away from your ears. We are not shrugging here. Good. 
<laughs> there we go. Sometimes with those bigger weights, you have to open that chest up, but it's important to keep those elbows facing forward. Good, we've got 10 seconds. Hey, Karen, good work. We see you working hard at home. Keep it up. Last rep right here. And rest. Nice job. How's that 44 pound treating you? <laughs> he said he was going to work out later on today, but we'll see. <laughs> I think this counts. <laughs> All right, guys. Stand up, grab that weight. Here we go. Last set right here. And again, you can see Coach Michelle back here. She's using that ball, she's still activating those triceps, she's still challenging herself. Uh oh! <laughs> he had to drop weight on that last set. But it's all about staying consistent and staying true to the movement. So if you ever use heavy weights and your form starts getting rough, you want to drop weight. We want the correct form all the time. He made the right decision right there. We've got five seconds. Let's get two to three more in right here. And after this, we have surrenders with the ball. So drop that weight. Shake it out. Grab a drink if you need it. We're going to grab that ball. On this one, those arms are up the entire time. We're dropping it down to those knees, alternating step-ups. So go ahead and pick those balls up. <laughs> Bring it over your head. Here we go. So we drop it knee to knee, stand it up to the top. You're going to alternate sides, stand it up to the top. Good. All right, we want that ball pushing to the top. Again, if you need to drop that weight and just use your arms as your own body weight, you can do that as well, just as challenging. Again, you can see Coach Michelle modifying it right here. Coming down and up can be challenging on its own. Bringing that ball overhead is really working. Core stabilization. And rest, good. One down, two to go. Those are good after triceps, Lee says. <laughs> How do you feel at home, guys? <laughs> All right, let's pick that ball back up. We're trying to keep it up over our head the whole time. Here we go. Let's work. Down. Down. Up. Up. Good. Stand it up to the top. Pull those shoulders down. Make sure we're not arching our back as we kneel down. We need to tilt that pelvis slightly. Good, push it up. You got it. Almost there, Chris. Five seconds. Three, two, make this your last one. Good, all right, rest. Good. All right, you guys have one more right here. Shake those arms out. Try off. Pick it up. Here we go. Let's step it back. There we go. Kneel and step through to the top. Good. Watching that form. Knees those glutes at the top. Good. Keep pushing that ball away from the earth. Push it towards that ceiling. Good. After this, we're working those legs again, but we're going to add a core rotation on a forward lunge. That's coming up in about five seconds. But finish this one up. Last rep right here. And rest. Good. All right, guys. We are going to pick up a weight. We're doing a forward lunge with a core rotation over that front leg alternating every time we step forward, okay? Pick up that weight, get ready to work. Two, and one, here we go. You can use a ball if you want to lighten it up a little bit. Good. Or you can not so awkwardly hold a jug of laundry detergent as well. <laughs> weight is weight, it works either way. Good, so we're rotating again over that front leg. Good. All right, guys, you have just about five seconds left. Let's get two more reps in. Step over each leg. Last one. Put it down and rest. Good. If you guys are using a backpack, you can always put that backpack on. 
and rotate with it over those shoulders as well. All right, let's pick it back up. Get ready. Here we go. Forward lunge. Rotate. Bring it back. Again, shoulders down and back. Nice, strong core. Elongate that spine. As you step forward, a lot of us tend to drop our chest over our knee. Let's focus on pulling that chest back. Good job, guys. Keep it up. See that tempo that Coach Chris is maintaining. He's not slowing down. We've got five seconds right here. Two. Last one. Nice work, guys. Again, this is going to be our last time on this station. Then we have three more movements today, and that's it. You guys are crushing it at home. Keep it up. All right. Let's pick those weights back up. Let's get ready to work. Here we go. Last time, last 35. Good. Activate those obliques as we twist over that front foot. Good. You got it, guys. You got it. So Coach Michelle has a lighter weight. She's extending it away from her body as she rotates to make it a little bit more challenging. Ten seconds. Good. All right, let's get over each knee at least one more time right here. Last rep. Good. Go ahead and drop that weight. All right. Coach Chris's favorite movement. We're going to grab this ball, place it between those knees. You're staying low and squeezing that ball, or you can stand up and do an actual squat as well. Get ready. Here we go. Squeeze. Good. So we're activating those inner thighs here. You'll see. Coach Michelle here is going to stand up every two seconds or so. She's coming down, giving it a squeeze, bringing it back up to the top. Coach Chris is staying low, doing a slight pulse in the squat while squeezing that ball in between his knees. Good. Feel it burn, guys. Squeeze. Five seconds. You got it. You got it. Last one. All right, drop it, stand it up, shake it out. Good job. Whew, almost there, you guys. Exercise number 12, second round. What? <laughs> All right, here we go. This exercise was Coach Michelle's idea. She said you're welcome. <laughs> Stay low. Squeeze. Good. Keep that activation the entire time, you guys. You're going to feel it. Squeeze. Stand. Good. All right. If you can, stay as low as you can for these final few seconds. Pulse. Good. Keep it up. Two more. Last one. Drop it and breathe. Good job. All right, shake those legs out. Give it a quick stretch if you need it. One more time. I know everyone's liking this movement at home, right? All right, go ahead and get that ball in place. Here we go. Get low and squeeze. So same thing, when we have about 15 seconds left, I'm going to ask that you stay as low as you can. We're going to add a pulse right at the bottom. Okay, get ready. Stay low. Pulse it out. Pulse. 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 Good. Hold it. We're not standing up yet. Stay low. 10 seconds. Pulse. 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 Final five. Four. Two. And one, those are done for the day. Go ahead and drop it. Nice job. Two exercises left. We've got plank pull-throughs. So you're in that plank. You're going to grab a weight, and you're pulling it side to side, okay? So place it under your left side. You're grabbing your right hand and bringing it to your right side. Coach Michelle's in this modified plank. Here we go. We're working. Pull. Zero gravity seats Good. Again, in this plank position, okay. shoulders are stacked over our wrists. Our hips are down the entire time. 
Good. Drop those hips. You guys have 10 seconds to go. We are a team of a million unique. Lots of core movement here today. Last one and rest. Good job, guys. You can go into a child's pose position here, like Coach Michelle. Give it a nice stretch through those shoulders. Upward dog to stretch out that core. But we're getting ready to work. Let's pick those weights back up, get into that plank. Here we go. So a lot of times when we do this movement, you'll see people open up their chest and rotate those hips side to side. Right here you can see Coach Chris is maintaining a strong core. Those hips are square right over the mat. We're not rotating at all. Good. Same thing back here for Lee. He's nice and strong in that plank position. That is our first priority. Then we add those pull throughs. If you find yourself opening up, drop the weight, or you can switch it to plank shoulder tops. Two more seconds. And rest, good job. All right, you guys have one more of these. Then we are on to the last movement of the day. Keep up that energy. All right, let's bring it back into that plank. Let's get that weight going. In two and one, here we go. Pull it through, come on. Good, do not come out of that plank. I challenge you, you guys have about 25 seconds left. Stay up on those toes. Pull it through. Good. Let those arms shake. That's why we're here. We're challenging ourselves. Come on, push through to the finish. You only have 10 seconds. Hold on to it. Come on. Good. Final five. Two and one. Exercise 13 is done. Last exercise of the day. You're on the mat. You're going to be laying on those bellies. Our arms are extending. We're doing alternating supervans or the Macarena. <laughs> All right, let's bring it down to the floor. Alternating superman right here. So here we go, 35 seconds. Notice, we're doing the left foot, the right hand comes up, and so on and so forth throughout this whole movement. Our eyes are focused on the ground. We're keeping a nice neutral spine. Targets those flaps, those lower back muscles, squeezing those glutes. It's a nice movement to finish up the day with. Good. Five seconds, guys. Keep going. Two. And one. Come on down and rest. Good. Just take a nice little nap right here. <laughs> or push back to child's pose again. All right, you guys have two sets left. All right, let's bring it back down. Got those supermans again. And here we go. Alternate. Good. We want to hold that for about two to three seconds at the top before switching to the other side, keeping those muscles activated the entire time. Good. It's a lot more challenging than it looks, right? Squeeze. Good. All right, you guys have 10 seconds. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Good. Three. Two and one rest. All right, one more set, everybody. That's it. We've got 35 seconds of work in front of you. We're going to go ahead and stretch it out after this final set. You're almost there. We're going to work to the finish. We've got about five seconds till we go. Shake it out. Deep breath. Get ready in three, two, or you can do that. And one. Here we go. Squeeze and release. Good. Again, keeping those hips will press into the floor. We're not opening up that chest. Good. Squeeze. And down. All right, final 15 seconds of the day. Those heart rates should be coming down a little bit with this final movement. When we're done, we only have about eight seconds. You guys will roll on your back and start resting and recovering. We've got five. Three, two, and one. That is it. Great job, everybody. Give yourselves a hand. High five. High five. All right, guys. Go 
go ahead and grab a drink, grab a towel, dry yourselves off. We're going to bring it onto the mat. We're going to stretch it out here. So go ahead and lay down. You're going to bring your arms up over your head, reaching to the back wall. Good. Let's stretch those core muscles out first. Arms are back. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale. Good. You can close your eyes. I'm going to bring those heart rates back down. Let's do one more giant deep breath in through your nose. Fill those lungs up. And exhale here. Go ahead and grab that right calf or behind that hamstring, pulling into your chest. We're going to do a hamstring stretch right here. You can rotate that ankle four times to the right and four times to the left. Take another deep breath in. Pull it in a little bit closer to your chest. As you exhale, I want you to drop that leg across your body. Look over your right shoulder. And you're pressing both shoulder blades into the floor right here. Taking a nice deep breath in again. As you exhale, roll onto your left hip for a quad stretch. You're going to grab your right foot. Push those hips forward. Knees stay nice and close together. Good. And again, a nice deep breath through your nose. As you exhale, we're coming onto our back doing a figure four glute stretch. So our right foot comes over that left quad. Reach through to your left hamstring, pull into your chest. And a little bit of a deeper stretch, you can roll slightly left. Good. From here, go ahead and extend that right leg out. You're gonna pull your left leg into your chest for a hamstring stretch right here. And again, let's circle that ankle four times to the right and then four times to the left. Deep breath in, pull a little bit closer. As you exhale, drop that leg across your body, looking over your left shoulder now. Both shoulder blades are gonna press into the floor. Giving that lumbar spine a big stretch. And again, deep breath in. As you exhale, roll onto your right hip. Grab your left foot for a quad stretch. Knees together. Push those hips forward. Good, nice neutral spine here, cradling that neck. And again, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, roll onto your back. Figure four left foot comes over your right quad. Reach through to your right hamstring, pull in. Roll slightly right for a deeper stretch. Good, let's bring both knees into our chest. We're gonna rock and roll a few times on that spine, just loosening it up. When you're ready, you're gonna roll all the way up into a pike position. Point those toes, nose are gonna come over your knees. So legs are extended out in front of you. Just stretch right here, chin to your chest, and reach. Good, this is a great time for you guys to be working on some flexibility and mobility at home. Coach Chris is going to put a video out later on this week about that. Foam rolling, mobility work, flexibility. It's going to be great. Go ahead and put those feet together. Bring those feet into your chest. Not into your chest. In right here. <laughs> that would be hard. Drop your, drop your nose over your toes. Open those hips just a little bit. Good. And then sit comfortably, however works for you. Let's bring one arm across our body and we're gonna drop our shoulder. Take that elbow, inhale. As you exhale, reach that hand down your spine. And let's switch. Bring that other arm across your chest, dropping that shoulder down. And taking that elbow up and reaching back. Push that elbow. Good. Go ahead and place your right hand by your right hip. We're going to reach across, keeping our chest square to the front. Take a deep breath here. As you exhale, reach a little bit further. Good. We did a lot of oblique work today. Let's give those a quick stretch. And let's switch side. Left elbow by your left hip. Reach up and over as far as you can. Deep breath in. Exhale, push deeper into that stretch. Good. Go ahead and sit on the balls of your toes. We're going to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae all the way up to the top. Head and shoulders are coming up last. 
final stretch on those hamstrings and your whole spine. Take your time coming up. Good job. And when we get up here, let's just bring those feet to a sumo position. We're going to take one giant deep breath all the way up. Go ahead and breathe in. Inhale to the top. Exhale out. Give yourselves a hand. Great job, everybody at home. We are so proud of you. Way to stay active. Way to stay motivated. And don't forget, we will see you soon. Thank you.